Hi guys, it's Giselle. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today's video, I decided to do a little tribute to one of my favorite YouTubers that recently passed away. If you are active in the beauty community on YouTube, then I'm sure you've heard of Mel Thompson's passing. I've been thinking about Mel quite often the last week and a half as well as all of her family and friends. I did not know Mel personally. I knew her through YouTube as far as watching her channel. I was a subscriber of hers. Aside from, you know, leaving a comment here and there and her, you know, responding to a comment here and there, I did not know Mel very well. What I do know of Mel is what came through on her YouTube channel. There was something about Mel that honestly, you would just watch one of her videos and you instantly felt a connection. Like this person was genuine, genuinely loved makeup, genuinely was a kind-hearted person, funny, and just, there was something about Mel that really just gravitated me towards her channel. I just thought she was the coolest YouTuber. Like everything about her. Everybody knows how amazingly talented Mel was in applying makeup, but just in general, like her look, her style, um, I just really enjoyed watching her videos. In this video, what I wanted to do was a recreation of one of my favorite looks that Mel did. Before I do that, I just want to talk a little bit about Mel, how I came to know her channel, and why it is that I am doing this video for her. I was introduced to Mel's channel probably, I want to say three or four years ago. When I tell you that I watch Mel all the time, Mel is one of those creators that she has so many videos. She was on YouTube for many, many years, way before I even came to know who she was. So there is so much content out there from Mel. More times than not, especially during the week, I will literally fall asleep on the couch watching Mel's videos. And it's not because she puts me to sleep. Don't get the wrong idea. It's because, you know, by the end of the day, um, late at night, if I'm on the couch, that's just what happens. I, I get very tired. So I start off watching like one, two, three Mel videos. And then by like the third or fourth one, I, I fall asleep. <laughs> So literally hours go by and Mel's just playing on my TV. Like she's just, she's literally like a household face, you know, like I, there's people, you know, that saying goes like a household name in my home. Like she's literally like a household face. She's always on, always on my TV screen because I watch tons of YouTube through uh, my Roku app. In today's video, I wanted to recreate one of my favorite looks that Mel has done, and it's using one of my favorite palettes. And I actually purchased this palette because of Mel's video, Mel's recommendation. So if you watched, um, I did like a one of those YouTubers made me buy it video, and I ended up buying the Pat McGrath Divine the Pat McGrath Mothership Divine Rose 2 palette based off of the video that Mel made. I know I'm not the only one that has gone out and purchased like Pat McGrath palettes and all of these amazing palettes because of Mel's recommendations. She just had a knack for making you want all the good things. <laughs> I'm going to show you how I recreated the first look that she did in her Divine Rose 2 uh, Mothership video, the first one. So if you wanna see how I recreated Mel's look, please go ahead and continue watching. I'm getting chills when they tell me you're not yourself. 
Trying to move, but it's hard. I'm out of breath. Oh, 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 oh. Nothing belongs to you in life. Oh, the picture of you cuts like a knife. Whatever they call us, whatever they'll do, they're running in circles. Whatever they call us, whatever they do, we're running in circles, circle of fools. Whatever we will, means got nothing to prove. But in the dark, I'm starting to. Whatever they call us, whatever they do, we want it together. I'll be here for you. Whatever we will, miss, we find something new. But in the dark, I'm enjoyed this recreation of Mel's Define Rose 2 look. I had a lot to learn from Mel. Now this eye look is pretty dramatic. It's more dramatic than I would normally wear, but I will say that after recreating this look, I was like, wow, I really like this look. Like why don't I wear more like dramatic looks? And Mel had such a knack for creating these amazing intricate eye looks that were most of the time very dramatic looking. So that's one thing that I would love to continue to learn about and get better at. So that is something that Mel's going to continue to teach me. You know, she has all these videos out there. I'm going to continue to watch them. I think the eye look came out pretty decent, you know, not as great as Mel. She was amazing at what she did. But for the most part, I think the eye look came out pretty good. I think she would say, you know, it was a decent job. <laughs> I didn't show the full face of makeup. What I tried to do was I did use a couple of products that I knew were some of Mel's favorite that I had in my collection. So I'm going to link all of the products that I used for my full face down below in case you'd like to see which products that I used aside from the Pat McGrath palette. I tried to find my most Mel earrings that I could find. Um, and I think I think Mel, I think Mel would have worn these, you know, I think this was her style. If you were like me and you were a Mel subscriber, then you know that we are all so heartbroken. And, you know, for someone who I've never met, I've never spoken to in person, her death really affected me. And it's something that haven't been able to stop thinking about since I heard about it. 
And it's just, I, I think part of it is she was so young, you know, I'm a couple of years older than her. You just don't expect to hear about, you know, someone who's so young passing, you know, or you hope to not hear that. It's kind of stayed with me. Like I've been not being able to sleep at night, which is really weird, um, thinking about Mel and her family and just her friends. It's just really stayed with me. And I know that I'm not the only one out there that, you know, didn't know her personally that feels this way. When you meet someone, and when I say you meet someone, but like meet someone virtually on like a platform like this, and it's someone that you watch all the time and that is pretty much like in in your world like Mel was very much a daily part of my life in terms of I was constantly watching Mel videos like every day and I am so sad that she's not going to be around anymore to create new content and it's like you just think about the potential that was there for Mel like she had so much potential like she she did so much already that it saddens me to think that there's not there's not going to be anything else anything new from her and you know I really feel that Mel was one of those people that eventually I feel like Mel would have had millions and millions of subscribers like she had that potential, like she had that certain quality about her, I feel that just made you want to watch her like all the time, which is partly why I was always watching her. And I don't know, I just I didn't want this time to go by without making a video, a tribute to Mel. And I know that certain people, there are certain people out there that won't understand. Like, don't understand how is it that you can feel sadness about somebody you've never met or, you know, feel or think about like this person's death. You just can't. Mel had that quality that when you watched her videos, you really truly felt like you were at her house. You guys were friends and she was just sitting there talking to you about like her new makeup palette. Like... She just had this quality about her that felt very inviting, very welcoming, and welcoming to all. Like, I just feel like she was that person that regardless of who you were, all walks of life, she was going to be friendly to you and treat you with kindness and respect. And that's, it's like a lot of what I'm hearing from like her friends and her family, just that she was just this really kind-hearted person and what you saw on the screen was truly how she was in in her life. Like she really did have those qualities. When someone passes, really the only thing that's left are your memories, right? Like they're gone, what's left are their memories. And I think it's so cool that what we have left of Mel is really what we've all been enjoying all these years from her, which is her channel. And like I said, she's been doing YouTube for so many years and she has a ton of videos. Now, one way to help and support her family is to continue watching her videos and making her channel active. And the great thing about that is it's free. It's absolutely free for you. So if you love makeup or if you don't even know much about makeup, but you'd like to get into it and learn a couple of things, she is an amazing, talented makeup artist. I would definitely check out her channel. I'm going to link her channel down below. By watching her videos, by liking them and commenting, you're, you're keeping her account active and in turn that is helping her family. She was 35 years old. Mel left behind a husband and four children. So if you would like to support Mel in that way, that would be amazing. And like I said, it doesn't cost you anything but a little bit of time so check out a couple of her videos here and there i promise you won't be disappointed 
And also, uh, there is a GoFundMe if you uh, have the means and would like to donate. You can check out the GoFundMe page. Um, it's on Kelsey Brianna J's video. I will link her video down below and you can get more information on that through her video. I just wanted to create a uh, tribute to Mel because she really did make an impact uh, in my life in terms of being um, a content creator here on YouTube for leaving behind this amazing legacy of hers. I just want to send lots of positive vibes out there to Mel's family, Mel's friends, those of her that were really close to her. Uh, you guys have been in my thoughts for the past like week and a half. I've been just nonstop thinking about her. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye!